All right, y'all may or may not know how I feel about Colin Sexton. I mean, I feel like I've made my stance pretty clear on this channel. I'm not the craziest Colin Sexton fan, but I gotta give respect with respect this dude. He hooped last night. It was one thing when I saw the 42 point game, I was like, dang, all right, Colin Sexton, that's pretty good game. You know, I don't give you enough credit, but it's a pretty good game. It didn't click in my head the magnitude of the badassery of that game. The man was not only hooping against the former starting point guard franchise point guard for the cleveland crack cavaliers kyrie irving who then celebrated getting his ring he did it in his jersey mm. wearing his shoes mm. <laughs> i gotta say i'm not a big call sex fan but let me, my, my, my fandom went from here to my like you know what i'm saying yo that's badassery right there as great as that was we all rejoiced in that Y'all know why I'm here. I wasn't able to make this video yesterday when the rumors first broke, but you know why I'm here. There's a point guard that I've been trying to get on this New York Knicks team for quite some time now. And now it's looking like the Knicks are coming a little bit closer to trying to make this move. But does it make sense to trade for him just because he is possibly on his way on the Pelicans? Or should we wait for free agency? Let's talk about that in this video, but you know what happened, but I'm just trying to keep it cool. <laughs> Run the intro. What's going on, CK Crew? It's your boy CK here. Welcome back to CK2K. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Join the CK Crew membership if you want to be a part of some behind the scenes stuff that you haven't seen before. If you want some other content that I'm not going to be giving out on the regular to the public and discounts for the merchandise, join the CK Crew membership. Hit that join button and you'll see more on that. But yes, you guys know what you get. You guys know why this video is up because there was a room rumor that's that's the better word i'm not gonna put report there's rumors that the knicks are expressing some interest over my guy my point guard lonzo ball but we're not the only ones we have teams like the raptors the mavericks the clippers and i feel like there's one other team i'm forgetting that was in that race but yeah there's other teams that are looking to make a call for lonzo ball and that has a lot to do with the rough start he's had um to this season on a team that seems like they went away from what was working for them last year i mean the proof is in the pudding look at their record i mean yes stats went up for zion williamson and went up for brandon ingram but the team play has not been the same and that's because they went away from what worked and i've had my opinions on uh stan van gunny that's not for this video i like stan van gunny as a coach and a person no hate i just never liked the fit for the pelicans and i feel like we're seeing that right now because i knew he was going to try and take away what worked for them and that's the fast pace play that they are doing he thinks that he's gonna slow him down and make him a defensive team when they don't have the personnel for that and the pelicans are seeing that but with all that being said lonzo ball is one of the main players that is probably getting the worst out of the situation and it just makes sense for the team the pelicans to move him especially after the two sides not agreeing to an extension which i truly 100 percent believe that that is more lonzo ball than the pelicans i know it might look like one way where people think Lonzo Ball just not good enough so the Pelicans didn't want the more I look into it the more I think that this has clutch and Lonzo Ball written all over it where they were reading the tea leaves and they're trying to get some worked out so they can get out of there but that's just my personal opinion on that let me know what you guys think about that all that being said it's looking like the Knicks are one of the few teams that are expressing interest in Lonzo Ball you know I'm excited about that I've been asking for this I've been doing the zone to NYs and this then the thirds and you guys know that I'm a, a fan of the the ball moving point guard I'm a fan of the point guard that pushes the break, especially with a team that we're seeing right now. Like before, I believe I thought he would be a good fit just strictly off of offense. But now with us actually living up to what Tom Thibodeau does as a coach, we're not the number one defense. But we're number one in so many of the defensive stats. The fact that we are actually playing defense and playing with high energy with the team that we have right now, I more than anything believe that Lonzo Ball will be an amazing fit for this team. One thing that also accompanies well with uh, defense is the transition and fast break game. We see RJ Barrett is one of the only people, if not the only person in the starting unit that ever takes advantage of that. We saw that in the... <laughs> We saw that in last game. There was three possessions where the Knicks got stops. We attempted a fast break. Julius Randle jumped in the air, threw it behind the court. Julius Randle dribbled all the way to the baseline, tried to pass it out to Alfred Payton, and it was a turnover. We saw so many terrible 
executions of the fast break but the thing is with our defense we are able to get a lot more fast break possessions along with a lot more possessions but we don't utilize it well until emmanuel quickly is on the court or unless rj barrett's the one with the rebound rj barrett the one that gets the ball he's the one to run the break and no, more times than not that's when uh, the fast break is successful but I feel like we cut that out then when we have a guy like Lonzo Ball who is already known to be a solid defensive point guard on top of all that he adds an IQ factor that we need we already got IQ on the team uh, you know talking about no 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 stop it <laughs> but he adds another IQ factor to the team that we desperately need I just feel like the combination of him with Tom Thibodeau just makes way too much sense on so many factors because then we could also play the def the defense that Tom Thibodeau wants to do but then also take advantage of more fast breaks and take advantage of more easy buckets we're already having a hard time scoring the ball and that's because most times not we play a half court set that we don't have we're not a half court team you need shooters to be a better half court team especially in today's NBA because that's just how it works in the NBA today unless you're playing in the break you can get those cheapy buckets but we don't have that capability and Lonzo Ball brings that for us he brings us that capability he brings us transition basketball he brings us more points and that brings my brings me to my next point why i like lonzo ball is because of what he does for everyone else everyone focuses on lonzo stats which i understand and i'm going to talk about that in a second but the thing that we need to really pay attention to is the fact that wherever he goes whoever he plays with what he does for the others is what stands out the most. That's what I care about the most because I'm sure a lot like you guys, you wanna see the best out of RJ Barrett. You wanna see more alley-oops to Mitchell Robinson. You wanna see more picks, more rolls, more use of Mitchell Robinson than just him having to create his own offense off of offensive rebounds. We're seeing it when Emmanuel quickly is on the court, but once Emmanuel quickly gets off the court, a lot of these things don't work. You know, the Kevin Knox uh, off-ball moves, a lot of this stuff because Right now, Alfred Payton, the, he's the type of point guard that has to dribble, dribble, dribble before he finds what goes on. Lonzo Ball is the kind of guy that moves the ball quick. The ball gets out of his hands quick. The ball is moving. The ball is fizzing. And one thing about this team that I, we, we've seen, we produce the best version of our basketball is when we trust each other and we move the ball. And Lonzo Ball automatically brings that for the team. So there's just so many factors for it that, you know, I, I, it just makes sense for him. He's the kind of guy that gets everyone else going. But a lot of these guys need a point guard that can get them in positions. The, the reason why Kevin Knox is having such a great season this year is because he's playing along a guy like Emmanuel Quickly who's helping him get to his spots. Same thing with Obi Toppin in certain stints when we're not posting him up and playing him outside of what his actual game is. We're seeing these guys be able to, you know, create. We always talk about R.J. Barrett needing to be with a guy that's going to help him get going because R.J. Barrett's forcing the issue a lot. R.J. Barrett would get a lot more points if he had a guy like Alonzo Ball that would be able to help improve and get him the ball in his spots, which is, you know, I, I feel like it's just so underrated because we get so transfixed on the stats. Now let's talk about Lonzo Ball stats. I do want to talk to those who are stat readers because at the same time, I get the, the skepticism when it comes to Lonzo Ball because he's in his year, he's in his fourth year right now. And you know, yes, his, his, his shooting percentages were going up up until this year. And you know, he's doing the, the things, the little things right and doing this, that, and the third, but is this who Lonzo Ball is? Can we officially shelf the Lonzo Ball comparisons to Jason Kidd, this person, that person, that, the third person? Me personally, I don't think, I think it's too soon. Like I, I, but I mean, it took Steph Curry, I know people probably hate hearing this comparison, but it took Steph Curry about three to four years. I'm not saying that Lonzo Ball is gonna instantly come to the Knicks and turn into Steph Curry, no. What I'm saying is, you never know with some of these players. Some players are long, long game guys. Some guys take two, three, maybe even four years to turn into player that they hopefully are going to be or people that you might believe that they might truly be. So am I saying Alonzo Ball is going to come in here and average 20 and 10? No, I'm not saying that. But I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for Alonzo Ball to jump his game from a 12 points per game to about 15, 14 points per game, along with six, seven, six to seven assists a game, six rebounds, five rebounds a game. I don't know about you guys, but if your starting point guard was averaging those kind of stats, would you guys be upset with that? And along with, you know, RJ Barrett with around 20 points per game, Julius Randle with where he's at right now, Mitch Robinson, his stats moved up. 
I wouldn't be too upset at that. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be upset with that. But again, I guess that is just hearsay. Because like I said, let's the fact let the facts be the facts. Lonzo Ball is shooting what 58% from the free the free throw line. Mind you, he doesn't get to the free throw line that often. I think he gets about 1.2, 1.5 attempts a game that's that's is what he averages which is not high but at the same time when you do get to the free throw line you do need to make the free throws there's no way around that and the knicks are already such a bad <laughs> example of that even though rj barrett who he's shooting 75 percent for free throw line this year after having a, a terrible free throw um shooting year last year um you say julius randall who stepped up his free throws you know so on and so forth i can go down the line every time we talk about improvements i can go down the line because all of our players are improving a lot more this season compared to last season all in all all i'm trying to say is i the, the reason why I'm so excited about it, and I'm not trying to sway anyone's opinion, you either are not excited about this move, or you are excited about this move, or you think it'd be a good move. And I understand you might have your hate towards Lonzo Ball for whatever reason it may be, if, you, if it's because of the stats, and the stats aren't what you expect them to be for a number two overall pick, or it's because of who his daddy is, or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to try and sway you on that. That's not my job. I, I'm just here to tell you how I feel about it as far as him being with the New York Knicks. Yes, outside of my Knicks fandom, I am a Lonzo Ball fan, but I also believe the fit of the two together just makes too much sense for the reasons that I have mentioned several times in this video and in videos prior. And I'm never gonna, my opinion's not gonna change on that until he comes to the team and proves me wrong. And I don't think that that would be the case. I feel very strongly about this opinion. But now the ultimate question is, do we go forward and make this trade for him or should we wait until free agency and make an attempt to get him for uh in free agency with the contract personally before these rumors came out i was leaning more towards going for him in free agency because there's still the possibility of us being getting a higher pick in the draft and who knows maybe we are able to draft one of these point guards and draft from kate cunningham to jalen suggs to i can go down hey yo there's so many names in this draft that we could possibly get that would be our guy and maybe we wouldn't need to go after lonzo ball in free agency so it make more sense to go through the draft process do that first you know, maybe we can get like a Jalen Green, maybe we get BJ Boston, whoever the case may be, and then we still need that point guard, then definitely go aggressive and go after him because it's, it's a very light free agency again this year. Go after Lonzo Ball, get him, sign him up, let him be our point guard, and possibly let him turn into the point guard of the future, or at least we know we have a solid starting point guard with a great backup in Emmanuel quickly as we go forward. So to me, it makes the most sense to go for go go through go for it in free agency. But in that same breath, with the way that Lonzo Ball has been playing in uh, with the Pelicans and the fact that he is sought out after by other teams, I kind of want to test my luck now with you know making some calls and seeing what would stick, what kind of moves would stick. Now I'm not saying that I would be trading any of my first overall picks or I'm not trading my 2021 picks from, not trading any 2023 picks. I'm not saying that. If the Pelicans call me today and say, I'll give you RJ Barrett, or just give me RJ Barrett for Lonzo Ball, I'm hanging up the phone. They say, give me the this year's first round pick and that's it for Lonzo Ball, I'm hanging up the phone. I love Lonzo Ball, but I love my New York Knicks more. I'm sorry, I, that my fandom comes before a player. So if it means any kind of, those kind of moves, you know, that would not make sense, that would hurt us with our future, to get a, him as a point guard, you hang up the phone, hope for a free agency if he doesn't end up going to the Clippers, which I feel like is the other best scenario for him. I think Lonzo Ball and the Clippers would be crazy. I wouldn't be against a trade. I trust this front office. This front office has proven so far that they know how to handle themselves in the draft, they know how to handle themselves in free agency, and they know how to handle themselves by the deadline. So I am okay with them making the call, seeing what we can get, and I trust that they wouldn't make anything that would be too drastic to get Lonzo Ball. I know a lot of you guys have your opinions on this, and I'm really open to hearing what you guys have to say. And don't think that I'm going to be coming against the nation Sayers. for those who are have ignorant reasons that's different but i understand it. if you have stats you don't feel where you feel weary about it you feel like it's not a good idea da, da, da. i hear you but it's been your boy ck forgive the stands on my shirt i got a kid and you know when they drool their drool is like super thick where is it look at that that's all i'm a leak if you were noticing it the entire time and be like yo ck doesn't clean his shirt no look i, I was holding them right before this video started so i apologize <laughs> You guys know what it is. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Join the CK Crew memberships. If you haven't already, shout out to my current CK Crew members. Appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, this is the beginning. Hopefully, it ends up on the next. You know I'm praying for it. For the right price. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's get it. We got a game tonight. Game day. Late one, too. God. Ah, late for you guys. 7 o'clock for me. I'm out of here. Peace. Feeling like I won the lotto
Always taking trips with a new chick Asking where the time goes 